Hello and welcome, Yawning Angel here with another Amos video. And in this video, we're gonna carry on looking at screen functionality within Amos. And in particular in this video, we're gonna look at the screen copy command. So following on from my last video where I started to look at some of the screen functionality within Amos, there's a link to that video up here if you've not already seen it. Um, there's been a lot of interest in screen functionality within Amos. That has been one of my most popular Amos videos to date. So I thought we'd carry on our journey looking at some of the different commands that you can use to manipulate screens in your Amos programs. I want this video to be a little bit shorter, so I thought I would specifically focus in on the screen copy command and show you some of the things you can do with that. We might take a slight detour through screen show and screen hide, but that's only a, a brief thing. The majority of this video will all be about the screen copy command. So let's grab a cup of tea and dive on into the code. Right, here we are, cup of tea in hand. Oh, that's good. Using my Sinclair mug this morning. Other mugs are available. Um, quick couple of points of note as I get comments about these in some of my other videos. Uh, my little Pac-Man display here is not illuminated today because the USB socket that that plugs into is broken and is not working, um, which is quite frustrating, so I need to sort that out. Also want to give a quick shout out to Holly who likes these videos and Holly, yes I know, I need to do some BBC Master videos. They're on my list, don't worry. Right, let's get going. So uh, I've got a bit of a shell of a program here and what I wanted to do to kind of start off, um, I don't know if you remember from the previous uh, video, I had some code that gave us four small screens. And the code basically went something like this. We'd show the first screen, uh, we'd set that up, then we'd do the second screen, third screen, fourth screen. Remember that? Uh, if you haven't seen it, please go back and watch the previous video. The link is in the uh, description notes down below. Um, and get the code for that as well, because you might need some of that. Um, so we get these, these four screens and then we you know, use the screen display command to position them out appropriately. Well, there is a better way of doing that. So um, what I've got here is in the code, I open up all the screens and I've got a wait key command uh, between each one, just so we can see the screens opening, etc. But what I'm gonna do is get rid of that and I'm going to execute the screen hide command on each one of these. So what this will force Amos to do is create the screens and hide them straight away. So that will hide all of those screens. Then we can run the screen display command as normal. And then once that's done, we can then show them all. And the command we're gonna to use to show all those screens is quite simply, screen show, but we can tell it which screens to show. So screen show one, screen show two, screen show three, and screen show four. Just check the code, we seem to be good there. So now if I, uh, what we'll do is a, let's put a wait key in after that as well. I do like my wait key commands. Uh, so if I get rid of that one there, what we should have now is those screens being defined and then they'll all appear displayed correctly at one go. So let's do it. And there they are, look at that. Automatically all they're in place. It's just a tidier way of doing it. So we keep the screens hidden while we're doing the manipulation, while we're setting them up, while we're getting ready to position them on the screen. Then we get them positioned using the screen display command and then we can just show them all at once and there they are. So that is just a quick detour before we get to the screen copy command. Um, so let me just take you through the code that I've got here and what I plan to do for this video. So having done that little bit, uh, step four here, I'm gonna open the screens we want to work with because I only, only wanna use two screens for this video. We're then gonna populate one of the screens, then we're gonna do some screen copy and we're gonna start copying some graphics from screen one into screen two, a small part, loop it, 
the whole part. What does this mean, Yawning Angel? What, where are you taking us today? Well, let me grab another mouthful of tea and we will continue this journey. Mm. More tea, that's starting to go cold. I'm gonna to need to get another one in a minute. So screen copy, let's dive in then. Screen copy in the Amos Pro Manual, if you are lucky to have it, is on page 060201. All about using screens and talking about screen copy. Right, some things I need to say first of all. Screen copy is not to be confused with screen clone. We'll look at screen clone in another video. Screen clone clones the whole screen, or clones a screen, where screen copy enables you to copy parts of a screen, and this can be used to your advantage. So before we dive on in then, done a quick bit of housekeeping here. So after we've shown those last four screens, I've basically just done a routine to go in and close them using the screen close command. Uh, and then by way of uh, just keeping things tidy, we'll go back to screen zero. Don't forget screen zero is our default Amos screen. And I'm just gonna shove a message on the screen here. Center, uh, this is screen zero. Uh, that's there, okay, ba, 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 ba. Uh, screen zero, capital letters. Right, and then we'll just do a quick wait key, Ooh, a wait key, wait key, there we go. Uh, right, now we want to set up the screens that, ooh, now we want to set up the screens that I want to work with, so let me do that very quickly. Right, so I have added some code in here. So for my step four, basically, I'm just opening two screens. We're only gonna have two screens this time, not the four. Um, and they are set accordingly. So I've used the screen hide commands there. And then I just do, I position them using the screen display command. And then I just show the screens and that's as far as I've got. So let me show you this running. So F1 then, so there's our, our four screens we had earlier. I then get rid of them using the screen close command. I did a bit of a for next loop for that. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. There you go, this is screen zero and I press a key and now I've got screen one and screen two positioned. And this is where the screen copy action is gonna happen. Excellent stuff. Uh, just very quickly, let me show you that for next. Yeah, to close the screens up here, just a for next loop around a screen close command. Dead straightforward. We covered that in some detail in the last video. Um, right, so oh, I've duplicated some code. So let's go down here. So step six. Now let's populate screen one. Screen one is the screen at the top. So uh, first thing I need to do is tell Amos to push all output now to screen one. And I'm just gonna draw something very simple, very quick and dirty um, bit of graphics on the screen just to demonstrate a point. So I'm gonna do uh, a box. Let's get this right. Uh, and then I'm doing eight. And we're gonna do a bar command. This will all make sense when I run it, but essentially I'm just drawing a box, a filled box on the screen with a border around it. And it works very well, just to demonstrate what you can do with screen copy. Uh, another box command, bear with me, 14 comma 14, two. I, I worked out what these coordinates were prior to doing this video. Uh, these are graphics coordinates, don't forget, for graphics commands. Seven, uh, and I want a bar, 15 comma 15. Obviously we're not going into graphics in any great detail in this video. I have other videos where I have covered that. Quick save of that program. Uh, we'll do a quick wait key off of that. So um, there we go. Right, so let me just run that quickly. Get through that, through that. So there we go, I've got this box on the screen that I have drawn using box and bar commands and different color inks. Very simple and straightforward. So what I want to demonstrate here is what you might want to do is have some graphics on one screen that you want to copy parts of or all of to another screen. And that's what we're going to do now. So um, step seven, let's start copying. Uh, I put the comment in here saying graphics coordinates because the screen copy command makes use of graphics coordinates. So we'll do a small part of the screen first of all. So let's 
So we will set up our screen copy command and screen copy is quite, it could be a little bit lengthy, depends on what you want to do with it. Um, but effectively, uh, let me just do this as a, as a comment in here. So it'll be screen copy, then it's the source screen that you're taking material from. Um, so it's basically uh, your from screen and then you've got X and Y coordinates because which portion are you actually cutting out? What are you copying? So effectively you've got uh, X1 comma Y1 and you've got X2 comma Y2, right? Because that gives you your area that you're copying. And then you give it a two definition and the two is what screen are you going to? Let me just make that look a bit better. What uh, screen are you going to? So screen two in effect. Um, and then whereabouts, so x3 comma y3, whereabouts are you positioning it on that screen? So you don't have to put it in the same place as it was on the original screen. You can put it anywhere, which is fantastic. Um, and also at the end of that, you've got a mode, but we're not gonna cover mode in this video. That's something we can play around with and come back to. So let's get uh, that folded up. Quick mouthful of tea. Uh, it's definitely getting cold. Um, so let's do our piece of code now based on that. So we are gonna do screen copy from screen one, okay? And we're going to go uh, position 10, uh, comma 10 to 20, comma 20. And that's going to go to screen 2. And we're going to position that at 20, comma 12. Yawning Angel, how did you get those figures? Well, I worked them out earlier because I had to prepare for this video. Okay, so we're doing our screen copy. And if I bung in a quick wait key command, uh, let's see what that does. So I'm going to run the program. Uh, yeah, we'll just bounce through that. Right, so I've drawn my box. So screen one up here, okay? And I'm going to copy a piece of that into screen two. And look at that. There we go. There's that piece that I have just literally copied from screen one. I've just dumped that into screen two. It's in a different position, just. Uh, and we've just taken a segment of one graphic and copied it across. How good is that? And how useful can that be? So um, we've done that. Let's now um, do something in a loop. So this was the bit I was talking about. We can do a for next loop here and do something a bit interesting. So let's do uh, for SC equals uh, 20 to uh, 80, step 10. Okay, so we're starting off our for next loop. Uh, we're going to do a screen copy, 1, 10, 10, uh, 20, 20, to screen 2. And now we put in the variable that we're using in our loop. So SC is our X coordinate, and our Y coordinate will still be 12. I wanted to say, while mode is another parameter in here. If you don't put a mode on there, it, Amos just ignores it and, and everything's fine. Uh, close that off. Let's just do that. So this, let's do a wait key on there. So what this piece of code is do, gonna do, I've just set these, these values. So from 20 to 80, step 10. So it'll be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, etc. Uh, we're gonna copy from screen one in exactly the same area that we copied previously up here. And then we're gonna dump that onto screen two, but it's the variable bit which is gonna change the position of X where we're dumping that piece of imagery that we've copied. Let me run it and let's see what happens. So there we go. There's our graphic, there's our first copy. Now the for next loop. Look at that, look at what has happened. Look at how that has laid that out on the screen. I've just taken one section of the graphic above and I've copied it. So this is almost looking like some sort of tile effect now. Um, this could be really useful for anything in your software where you need some graphics, but you've already got one piece of graphics and you think, well, if I just copy a small section of that and you know, replicate it a number of times on the screen, I get a pattern, I can create a border, I can create tiles. Possibilities start to happen, which is really good. Um, 
so that's the uh, effectively copy in a small section uh, bit. But what we can also do is obviously copy a larger part. Uh, so let's do another one. Screen copy one, and this time 10, comma 10, uh, comma 81, ooh, 81, comma 81 uh, to screen two, and that will be 20, comma 12. We'll do a wait key on there. So what this is going to do, this screen copy, we're actually now going to copy the entire box that we created up here. And what I can do, I'm just going to control B and copy those two lines of code, paste them, paste them. Uh, oops, didn't do that. Uh, and let's just change some of the positions here. Oh, there's a mistake, yawning angel. There's a mistake. I needed a comma in there. So that, that should be 2, comma 20, comma 12. Uh, down here, it should be 2, comma 120, comma 12. And down here, it should be 2, comma 220, comma 12. Right. That looks good. Check that. We've got no errors. So let me run that code. And let's go through here. There's the box. There's my little segment. There's the replicated segment. And I've copied this whole graphic over that space there. So something you would have noticed here is I can copy a piece of graphics onto the screen, but then I can copy over it. Amos isn't fussy. It's not going to go, whoa, you've already got something occupying this space. It will just blindly dump on what you're copying. So that's my first box. There's another one, and there's another one. So I have effectively drawn, used Amos code to create the box on screen one, but I've just used the screen copy command to replicate that three times on screen two. In the grand scheme of things, you might think, well, Yawning Angel, you could have just done the box commands again for your second screen you know, and just redrawn the graphic. Yes, I could have, but I just wanted to demonstrate how you could use the screen copy command. Think about if you're importing graphics you've created in a graphics package and you don't want to keep on importing them because each time they're going to start to use up memory. So you can copy parts of them to other parts of the screen. So load in one graphic, copy it and paste it effectively multiple times. You're going to save memory real estate that way. This is a very simple and elegant way of doing it. I think it's quite effective. I hope you do too. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the screen copy command in Amos. Job done. And that is it for another video. Thank you ever so much for watching. There's a number of things we can do with screens within Amos, and as a result of that, there will be more Amos screen-relating videos coming. I've just got to get the time to put them all together and write the programs for them. Talking about programs, don't forget the code for this video you can download from my website. There is a link here to take you to that. It's a free download, and you can get the source code for my other Amos videos from that page as well. Thank you for all the comments that you leave. I really appreciate them. Thank you for supporting me on my Ko-fi account as well. Those of you that have, really, really appreciate it. And I'm deeply humbled by those of you who do. I can be found on various social media channels. There's a list going up the screen now. Don't forget, I also do the Amos tutorials in Amiga Addict magazine. Um, so go and check that out if you haven't already. As I said, that's it for now. Thanks once again for your time. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. And until then, whatever you do, keep it retro.